Libby Hopoff. I'm the audiovisual archivist here at Seattle Municipal Archives. SMA is home to thousands of audio and moving image recordings in a wide variety of analog and born digital formats, and it is my job to process these materials. Converting analog moving image and audio recordings to a digital format differs from that of photos, maps, and documents in the sense that you can't just pop them in a scanner. Each format must be used with its corresponding player in order to view or digitize the content. To put this in perspective, there are over 20 formats of videotape alone, meaning you need a different machine to play each format. Also, in order to appraise items in the collection, you can't just look through the box. You have to play each one back to review and preserve the material. None of these players are currently being manufactured, which makes finding and caring for them difficult and necessary. To make matters worse, all of these audio and videotape formats are actively degrading, and if they're not transferred to a digital format soon, the information and historical content they contain will be lost forever. The magnetic media crisis, as it has been coined, is characterized as a gathering storm. The Library of Congress has stated that analog tapes must be digitized within the next 15 to 20 years or we risk losing them forever. Equipment obsolescence coupled with vast numbers of deteriorating materials exacerbated by a lack of expertise and funding has the potential to result in a staggering and irreversible loss of visual heritage. Fortunately, thanks to a local partnership, SMA has access to the equipment needed to preserve magnetic media within our building. Analog audio and video have to play back at real time while digitizing, so the tapes or reels must play from beginning to end to transfer all of the content to a digital file. This means if you have a six hour budget meeting for the Seattle City Council, that tape will have to play for six hours straight from beginning to end in order to capture all of the content. SMA is home to 31 moving image collections which combined contain over 6,000 items in a wide variety of videotape and film formats. About a third of these are currently digitized and available to stream and download on our website. Movie to image collections are made up of productions and footage created by city departments of related projects, PSAs, celebrations, and events. Some of our larger collections include the Engineering Department, the Fire Department, Seattle City Light, Parks and Recreation, Public Utilities, the Mayor's Office, Woodland Park Zoo, and the Seattle Channel. Audio holdings at the Seattle Municipal Archives are primarily of the City Council, Committee, and full Council meetings. Audio is the official record that the City creates and preserves for all Council proceedings. Original audio recordings held by the Seattle Municipal Archives range from 1955 to the present, but most of them are from 1977 to 2002. The recordings are being converted and added to the website as they are processed. Our audio recordings are searchable by date, subject, and associated legislation within our digital collections. On the SMA website, there is an exhibit page entitled Seattle Voices, which provides audio selections curated around a variety of historical topics and events. These recordings provide a different perspective on the legislative process than can be gained from textual documents alone. Audio recordings of meetings allow individuals not documented elsewhere in the archives to come to life. Thank you.